so now what i will do is next step is to how to make our application deploy to the sap sap system so that is super easy to deploy our application to sap system we need to first build our project and then deploy the process in the business application studio also remains the same so let me open the command palette sorry open the terminal and first let me build and package our application so we come here control c first we need to build our application so what is build process just like you order something on online shopping website they first need to package package your product and then send to you right so similarly we need to package our application to send to sap system and every sap ufi application will be deployed to the sap system as a bsp application so let's package so we say ui5 build so this is step number one we package our app you see this creates a dist folder dist stands for distribution this stands for distribution it creates a dist folder so then we need to add and we need to add the configuration for deployment so we add that using fury add deploy dash config command fury add deploy config command through the help of that we will add the deployment config and now you see it is telling where you want to deploy a app or cloud foundry so whatever steps i am showing you here today same steps will also work in exact same way if you are planning or you are using business application studio business application studio also so i choose a app system what's my target so i of course tell my this is my system in which i want to deploy what's my client 800 what's sap abap repository so this is important what will be the name of your app in sap so if you go back to sap set you will see over here in sc80 that we search for a bsp application so search for bsp application and put name let's say zz1 underscore feb 23 this is the name i want to search so you see zz1 underscore feb 23 is not there yeah which means the this this name there is no object with this name so i will give this name now yeah. so zz1 feb 23 enter deployment description my first every app package i'll give dollar tmp dollar tmp means local object if you plan to move this application to quality and production you will provide a proper package of your company system so here you will give the package name like in any sap system you put objects in package and deliver right so that you will put then you choose how do you want to enter transport request manually or choose existing so i say uh, manually of course and i will keep transport request empty because for any object which is of in a local object dollar tmp we don't need a transport so you see now it is doing everything and it is adding the deployment configuration so this is a one-time job you don't need to do this every day so you just need to build and deploy every day this configuration what we added it's a one-time job so i come here to deploy yaml file yes and in deploy yaml file you see we have added everything and deployed to web app and this is the url this is the name description package everything we have added yes all of this i have added in case tomorrow your ip changes your transport changes package changes app name changes you can always configure this always configure this this will get added with the command fury and deploy config. it's a one-time activity yes next what we need to do is we are then going to perform the deployment to trigger the deployment now we will use the command called uh, we will use the command called deploy so that command is added to package json you see there is a deploy command which was added automatically but this command you see it is asking for a build also but there is no build command so we need to add the build command which we did also here and we say ui5 build perfect so we did a build and we also say 
run build. So now let me trigger the deployment. So I just hover my mouse and say run. And you will see that our Fury app will now get deployed to SAP system. So it is asking, would you like to deploy? I say, yes, please go ahead, why? And you see the deployment is going on. So now you see this another error, no alias found for Z ABAP service for user mob5. This is a very common error you might get in your company also. So what you need to do, you need to check this service provided by SAP. It's a standard service pro provided by SAP. So just in case sometime you get this kind of error, you can resolve also. So let me show you how to resolve this problem. You not see also here. Okay. So let me go to SEGW transaction code. Uh, not SPRO transaction code. This is called SAP customizing. And we can go inside to find the uh, find the ABAP platform, SAP Gateway, OData Channel. Then we will go to the OData Channel configuration, connection setting. So there is somewhere we will find a setting, guys, where we can manage system alias. Yes, assign SAP system alias to OData service. Let's come inside. And here we will do the assignment. Okay, never mind. I'll create a new entry. For the system alias, I press F4, put local and default and save. Okay, let's try again the deployment process. So last time it didn't work. Let me try again to perform the deployment. So I hover the mouse on deploy and say run script. So I say yes, please go ahead. And this time you see the error is not coming. So if you get the error of no system alias found for this standard ABAP service, the solution is you need to come to SPRO transaction code. And in the SPRO transaction code, you need to come here. Let me take a screenshot so that you guys can follow using screenshot if you get that issue in your company. So you need to change add system alias over here. And in this, you need to make the entry of your OData service like I made with the new entry. This entry we need to make. If the error comes, usually this error will not come now because I have already done the configuration for all of you. But just in case you get the error in SAP system like that, you can fix this using the setting in SPRO. So I am going to give you the screenshot also in the in the system over here you can follow along to solve this problem good that this problem come so you'll know the solution also in your company if you face the similar problem it's a standard service provided by sap to upload the fury projects so you see done you see everything is done uploaded which means now our project is available with this id in sap so i'm going to switch over back to my sap system Earlier you saw in SCATT code, we were not able to find our project. So we come back, search for BSP application and search for ZZ1 Fab 23, search and yes, there you go. You can see our entire application is now deployed to SAP server. So till now we were running our application in with the local host. Yes, local host. Now you can take this URL and test it in the browser. This is the IP address of our server now. This is the IP address of our server. You see, this is the IP address of our server. This is running in the server now. Yes, in our SAP system, it is running now. So this application is running inside the SAP system now. Make sense? Make sense. So that is how exactly we can work with our SAP system. Makes sense. Cool. Cool, guys. So, this is how exactly we can work with our entire SAP system. So, this comes to the end of our today's episode where we learned about how to build an application with the deep insert in Fury and how to also deploy our application to SAP system. In the next episode, I am going to teach you how to work with the Git how to take your application to the Git and how to 
now configure this application as a tile on SAP Fury Launchpad. SAP Fury Launchpad.